What's up, everyone? DJ Nubis here with you in the Metal Time Radio podcast, doing another movie review. This time I'm doing Project Wolf Hunting from 2022, uh, Korean film. And right now, if you have a Roku app or it can get Screenbox on your phone uh, app there, uh, even though they do have subscription service like Shudder, right now that movie is on there for free to stream uh, without any subscription, so you can go right in and watch it. Um, I remember a while back, a few months back, when Fat Samurai Guy was doing some trailer reviews and had a watch party, basically, where people would join in watching the trailers with them. And this was one of them that uh, I think Cocaine Bear was the other one, uh, or at least one of the other ones. Uh, but this was on there, and I remember really, really being interested in watching this. And I think Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, has done a review on this. I have to go back and finally watch. I didn't want to get spoiled with anything, so I didn't watch at the time. But uh, I think he has done an actual review on this as well. He really pays a lot of attention to the Asian films. So if you haven't checked out his website and his YouTube channel, go do so. Um, the director of this is Hung Soo Kim. Hung Soo Kim. Uh, cast is Seelian Gook, Don Ju, uh, Don Yu Yang, and Jun So Min are your main characters there. Um, the plot is basically a bunch of criminals who are thrown on this ship, uh, cargo ship, to be transported uh, from the Philippines to South Korea as they unleash a sinister force after an escaped attempt leads to a riot. So basically. We have this, uh, and here's a picture of three of our main characters here. So the guy on the left, he's he's a big part of this, one of the criminals. The guy in the middle is obviously the criminal. He's like the mastermind of the escape riot attempt. And then the girl on the right, she is like one of the cops uh, put on the ship to overlook uh, the transportation of the criminals. And this is like basically the worst of the worst these guys are like total animals they will just kill you for nothing they don't care uh they're brutal uh sarcastic and then they also have like you know the men and the women so there's a group of women criminals on there as well um so the guy in the middle uh the main baddie for the criminals who's leading this uh, uh escape attempt um you know, the, the funny thing about this movie is it's two hours long, which is pretty good for a movie like this, really. Um, so about midway through, we start losing characters that I thought that we would see towards the end of the film, which doesn't happen. So I'm like, at about the halfway mark, I'm like, wow, we still got a lot to go. So there's got a lot, got to be a lot more to this movie than just, just you know, straight up action. And the thing is, like, what I thought this movie was actually going to be about, and I know Samurai was kind of the same way. Initially watching the trailer, we both kind of like were feeding off the like, you know, the name of the movie and are werewolves a part of this? I can tell you right now, werewolves are not part of this film, but it's certainly uh, worth your time watching because it, the wolf part of the way wolf hunting, uh, the title is thrown in there is basically just, you got a bunch of predators on the ship. So, we also have secretly on the ship that we find out as the movie goes along is this uh, experiment that's been going on with this guy who is basically just called the Alpha. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he looks exactly the way he is. Um, he apparently has been around since 1911 uh, as part of a Japanese experiment to make basically the super soldiers. So if you ever saw Universal Soldier, we've got kind of a theme like that a little bit with this, only on a darker, more horrific level. And uh, that guy gets let loose. Now, after the riots going on, like the criminals are just killing cops, killing everybody. Uh, even if you're a bad guy who's not going to follow our leader here, the guy in the middle of that picture I showed you, he'll just kill you because he doesn't care. He's just that crazy. Uh, but certainly the alpha gets loose and he starts kind of like waving his dick around. This guy has like superhuman strength. Uh, he can sense and hear things better than, uh, anyone else on the ship just because of all the experimentation on him. Uh, like I said, super soldier type dude. Um, but as the movie goes along, we start to find out that there's more to it. There's like an underlying thing. So 
there's other people that have been experimented on uh, in our movie here that it's part of a bigger picture, bigger government conspiracy, bigger thing. Um, and so, you know, the alpha is basically just a guy that's, you know, he's the really crazy one. He's the first. Uh, but we do have other people who are have been a part of this experimentation, and we start to unravel this mystery a little bit as the movie goes along. The gore and effects are top notch. I mean, they don't hold back. They're just ripping off limbs, stabbing people in the neck, and leaving the, the, the shot on there. The blood is just galore. Uh, very crazy, very good uh, for that type of film, if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I've, I've been debating whether or not I want to own this. I mean, it's like 99.9% .9 of this movie is great. The only the problems I have with it is the ending. And it's kind of a catch-22 because the ending, uh, while not to my liking, certainly opens it up to a sequel. And I think that was the direction they were heading with this, like, you know, the ending scene, basically. But uh, one thing this movie proves is that Nobody is safe in terms of characters, whether they're a main character or not. You're not safe from being ousted and killed off in this movie. Uh, I, I think I still like it enough to I'll probably own it. Um, but I really wish they would have done at least a little bit better conclusion with some of the stuff towards the end. I wish I would have had uh, that we didn't get. But still very high quality movie in my opinion. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, if I'm going to give it a rating, I'm going to give it probably an 8 out of 10 uh, just because of the gore effects and the violence uh, is up there. And I do like the concept. I mean, it's a pretty cool concept. The, the guy, Gui Hoa Choi, who plays the alpha, he did a really good job with that role, just very menacing. Uh, he's almost like the silent killer. He doesn't say anything. And there's some other things with him you'll see early in the film that you're like, oh, my God. But he's just brutal, and uh, it's crazy. Like it's a crazy movie, and uh, even though I didn't have any aspect to the werewolves, I kind of see where they were playing with the wordplay there with wolf hunting. I get it. Uh, basically, it's just a bunch of wolves fighting amongst each other uh, for supremacy, basically on this ship. And uh, yeah, it was a really good film. I enjoyed it a lot, and I highly re recommend anybody who can who wants to watch this. It's free right now at Screenbox. So. Thank you for checking out this movie review, and uh, later today, Neck and I will be doing an interview with the band They, and uh, if you had heard our podcast uh, reviewing their uh, album Unspeakable from 2018 of our Classic Reflections new podcast, and uh, you'll know these are the guys we're going to talk to, because they did just have a release that came out last year. We'll be talking a lot about that, as well as the first album, Unspeakable, and any other projects they're involved with. So be looking for that later tonight. Um, but here, like I said, Project Wolf Hunting, check it out. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you would. Share. Uh, and if you have any recommendations, man, always hit me up in the comments. Uh, Neck and I will try to get around to checking them out, both musically and uh, movie-wise. So if you have anything you like, let us know. All right, all. Enjoy the rest of your day and take care of yourselves. You